Daring to be different. On air on 105.5. Online at swindon1055.com. We're Swindon 105.5. 105.5. First of all, we're in the home of the mayor of um, Swindon. Let's have a welcome for our mayor, Councillor Drew Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to you all on behalf of sorry, I've got a sore throat on behalf of, of Swindon Borough Council to my parlour. Shirley has said that this is my home. You will see it's a 24-hour job. There's no bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really pleased to see you all here today because today, as you know, is the launch of the Pride of Swindon Awards. And the Pride of Swindon is an honour given to our local people who have gone that extra mile to make life better for other people. And I'm certainly looking forward to meeting those nominees this year. And uh, I myself have a few names to put forward, but uh, it's so important that this happens. This is the sixth year, and uh, I'm sure that it will be a tremendous success as it has been in the past. And as you know, we welcome names. So thank you, and let's get on the move to find our wonderful people. Thank you. Talking of wonderful people, we've got representatives of those who received the awards last year. We had some incredible stories, uh, and I think we didn't have so much diversity ever. And I just think it really shows the depth of support there is for our communities within the town. Uh, three of those here today, I'm delighted to welcome them. First of all, ladies first, Sheila Harrod, no stranger to you, I'm sure. Um, Sheila received an award last year uh, with Kentwood Choir for many, many years, Sheila, can you tell us. What did the award mean to you? Because I know it was a bit of a surprise. It was a huge <laughs> surprise because, for one thing, with the choir and with music and everything like that, I just love what I do. And some of the greatest moments for, for me personally and the choir are not just the wyvern. It's sort of singing to somebody, um, a prospect, you know, that's probably... I had that the other day and the lady passed away the same week. And this is all what music means to me. And to be honest, it, it's just a joy to do the job I do. I know I'm uh, one of the ones in a minority that I do, as well as charity work. I mean, it's my, my living as well. But I think this is a wonderful idea. But I sometimes feel that it should be for people perhaps as well that are not, which it is, um, not well known in the community because there's so many out there when I go around you know doing all the music that I do do you see just we're just unknown people that are just amazing and I hope this year well it will be proved the same won't it that uh, we'll get some well I think there's thousands in this town and it's a very regarding the arts it is such a talented town and so many people are out there bringing pleasure and um, there we go uh, I'm very proud, for 70 years I've been a Swindonian, I'm very proud of it, and so long may these awards live. Lovely. Sheila Harrow, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Mix of ages, types, styles and all sorts of backgrounds as well. JB Garung, come and join us now. You received a Pride of Swindon Award too. What did this mean to you? Well, it is great. Uh, I have no other way to explain more than this. Uh, because uh, can I please a uh, uh, few words uh, give you an introduction about the ex -Gaikas. Because as you all know that uh, we were not allowed to settle in the UK before 2009. And then 2009 we are now allowed, we are now here, we, now, we are now with you. So we need your help. This is why I'm here, we are all aged people, we have no language, we have everything different. This is why we need to give an introduction. Who we are, where are we come from, this sort of thing. So that now we are very, very close to this stage. Because of your help and this stage, I wasn't uh, you know, expecting this sort of thing. In my heart, if I tell this thing, it still comes. Because oh. this suddenly came like this, you see. Within two, three years, I'm with you. And thank you all very much, especially my boss there and Sue there. 
without their help, I wouldn't be in this position. So once again, I salute your help. I salute your everything. Please let me carry the responsibilities for this Swindon area that we can do it. We are here, although ex workers we are old, but we are ready to give anything you think we can do it. We are here. We are ready to give for this country. Thank you very much. This opportunity. Give us a kiss. <laughs> That's one thing we get is passion, isn't it? <laughs> Plenty of passion about what we do. Um, and that's what makes our organisations work so well. All levels. And sport is one of those too that helps reach so many people. And Deb Howe is representing Esprit. And so many nominations this last year. <laughs> and several awards as well as Pride of Swindon. Tell us about Esprit first of all. Um, Esprit Gymnastics uh, is, has been at Headlands Grove now. It's, we've been based there for about five years which means that we're able to offer gymnastics to everybody. You know, we so there's an elite path, there's a path for children that want to come once a week, uh, for children that just want to do it, to keep fit, which I just think is really important to introduce them to sport, and whether they stay in gymnastics or whether it sets them up for another sport, um, it, I think it helps to give them discipline in whatever they want to do. So, yeah, it's come a long way. So it's been very successful. Very there have successful. been some huge achievements, haven't there? Yes. The Commonwealth Games was exceptional for us. Um, we had two gymnasts there, plus I went as the England coach. So an amazing experience. And Laura, who you all know, um, got three medals, which was an incredibly proud moment for mm. me. So, you know, but that's years and years of work. You know, and she's an incredibly good ambassador. She goes out and she introduces sport to everyone, you know, and I hope that's what we can give her as well as her success, you know, actually making other children love sport at whatever level. So it has been an amazing time. And how do you feel the Pride of Swindon helps recognise those achievements? Um, I think it brings... <laughs> It brings it to Swindon more, you know, because a lot of times with what I'm doing, I'm in my little bubble, you know, although sometimes it's a bigger bubble. And for it to be recognised in Swindon and for other people who might never come across gymnastics um, to understand that it's there, like all the, you know, all the support that you give to everyone. Sheila, you couldn't have put it better. It was absolutely amazing. I was like, whew, I haven't got so much. Sheila's covered that. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's just... I think it opens people's eyes to things that maybe they wouldn't have seen. Mm. You know, not because they're ignoring them, but just because it's not in their bubble. So I think that's what's so fantastic. It's really good. Fantastic. Deb Howe, ladies Thank and gentlemen. You. We're obviously in the home of Swindon Borough Council. It's one of the partners of the uh, Pride of Swindon Awards. But perhaps as we are, Gavin, would you like to just say just a couple of words about how you feel uh, it's important that perhaps communities and business and the local authority are all coming together on this? Yes, thanks very much, uh, Shirley. I was listening to the different speakers there, really. You're absolutely right. It's people in their communities kind of living the values that are Swindon in terms of Swindon's always been a welcoming place, tolerant place, supportive place. And actually, I think it's local people, as Sheila was saying, actually shining the light on those people who every day, very quietly, actually make a difference in their community. And for me, that's really what this is about. And there are so many of those people out there that actually to celebrate what they do for their friends, for their neighbours and their communities uh, is really, for me, what Pride of Swindon is really about. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Kevin Jones. Uh, I think one more before we actually then declare it all open and ready for business for 2014 is I think we're representing so many different aspects of our community and, and Angus McPherson. So it's a, a role that's been created in recent times. It's our Police and Crime Commissioner and it shows the far-reaching elements of our communities and how much I think when we work together we can make great achievements. Yes, this, this is... This job is not a police commissioner, it's police and crime. And the and crime part comes from everything we do in community. And so this, this award is, is recognising those that are part of the community, those that lead the community, and those that are in jobs that go just that much further in the community. And if we have strong community, we have strong cohesion, we have integration, then we might need less policemen 
wouldn't that be great? <laughs> but that's what we're aiming for. It's not just looking at the police, it's looking at the community. And in your job, you're actually reaching into all elements of our life, reaching with young people. Amazing project last week with young people who are homeless and being helped through a project as well. So you must be seeing and learning an awful lot during your role. Well, one of the things I did was put some money aside to try out some projects that address the and crime part of the job. And some of those are coming to fruition now. We're beginning to, to visit some of them. And I went down to the county ground the other day and watched Work to Wildlife Fund and some, some young people who've been in trouble and getting them back on track. And, uh, and the, your radio station's doing some work with young people as well. And uh, if we can get the young people engaged and on the right track, we stand a bit of a chance of them not going astray later on. So it's about including them. Absolutely. Angus, thank you. Angus McPherson. Join me. So Tony, we're actually looking now at launching this event off for 2015. Can't believe it. It came like a little idea six years ago, didn't it? And who knows how much it would expand. And it's certainly done that. And it's certainly gained a lot of interest and momentum. So the forms are there. And we'll, uh, if you want to take some away with you, please do. But I think we should officially declare the Pride of Swindon Awards for 2015 officially launched. And may I give you that honour to do so? And then we want a big cheer. <laughs> Well, I now officially declare the awards nominees collection open. Go out and find those people. They're there, but they're under the radar. Pull them out and get them awarded for what they've done. Thank you. Thank you. Now that you've heard Swindon 105.5, check out our website at www.swindon1055.com. Here you'll find station information, details of our programmes, events we're involved in and how to support us. You can also hear our programming online via the Listen link. Get into it. Get online. Swindon 105.5.